Welcome to Ready Claim Exploring Car Insurance for Rideshares. First, let's uncover the various insurance coverage options available for ride-sharing drivers. You might think your personal auto insurance is enough, but it's not always the case when you're driving for Uber or Lyft. These companies do provide their own insurance, but it's not a one-size-fits-all solution. Then there's the hybrid insurance policies, specifically designed for ride-sharing, bridging gaps between personal and commercial coverage. It's crucial to understand these options to decide which would work best for your situation. Now, let's navigate the maze of state and local regulations. When it comes to insurance for ride-sharing drivers, the rules of the road can vary quite a bit. Understanding the specific requirements and regulations in your location is crucial. Whether you're cruising the coast of California or navigating New York's notorious traffic, each state has its unique set of insurance stipulations. These can change over time, so it's important to stay informed. Always stay updated on your local insurance requirements to avoid any legal hassles. Coverage gaps and overlaps can be tricky. Let's simplify it. Picture this. You're not logged into your ride-sharing app, your personal insurance is your safety net. Now you've got the app on, but no passenger yet. That's when your ride-sharing platform's insurance kicks in. And when you have a passenger in your car, your coverage shifts again to the enhanced ride-sharing insurance. Understanding these gaps and overlaps will help you ensure you're never caught off guard. Different periods of coverage apply at different times when using the ride-sharing app. When the app is off, your personal insurance is primary. It covers you. However, once you turn that app on, but don't have a passenger yet, your ride-sharing insurance kicks in. And when you get a passenger in your car, that's when the enhanced ride-sharing insurance comes into play, offering even more protection. So, whether you're on or off duty, you've got coverage. Make sure you're clear on when each type of coverage applies to avoid any surprises. The cost of insurance is a major consideration for all drivers. Ride-sharing can affect personal insurance premiums, often leading to an increase due to the perceived higher risk. Adding commercial coverage to your personal policy may also result in additional costs. It's also key to understand the deductibles and coverage limits of ride-sharing policies. These can vary and may not fully cover all potential costs of an accident. Insurance costs can be a significant part of your ride-sharing expenses, so it's important to plan accordingly. Accidents can happen. Knowing what to do can help you navigate the aftermath with ease. In case of an accident while driving for Uber or Lyft, first, ensure everyone's safety, then contact the authorities. Notify your ride-sharing platform and your personal insurance provider. Each accident scenario is unique and the insurance claim will be handled accordingly. It could involve your personal insurance, the rideshare's insurance, or both. Being prepared and knowing the claims process can save you a lot of stress in the unfortunate event of an accident. There's a lot to consider when it comes to ride-sharing insurance. Indeed, from understanding coverage options for Uber and Lyft drivers to knowing your local regulations, insurance is a multifaceted topic. It's critical to be aware of when personal or ride-sharing insurance applies and how to navigate potential coverage gaps. In the event of an accident, knowing how to handle claims is invaluable. Remember, the right insurance coverage is a critical part of your ride-sharing journey. Stay informed, stay safe, and keep driving. Keep